sometimes, man, effort will get you very far, you know. Sometimes just effort will get you farther than you think. And sometimes a lack of effort and carelessness will kill you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I told you guys yesterday that the last time these two teams met each other in the playoffs, 1984, uh, this is when they were in New Jersey. They upset it, the then defending NBA champion Philadelphia 76ers. The year before that, the Sixers uh, went 65-17 and 17 and romped through the playoffs uh, to the title. Jules Irvin's only title in the NBA. The next year, they went 56-26. and 26. Um, They were still a good team, but they had some injury issues. They didn't quite look the same. And you could see that uh, that was the year I think Julius Irvin, you really could see that he was starting to fall off a little bit as a player. Um, a little bit. And uh, Buck Williams helped to lead that team to an upset victory in the first round. I can't remember what seed they were. I, th- I want to say Philly was like, I want to say Philly might have been the second seed that year. But, um, shit. Things go the way they went today. The Nets might spank that ass again, man. Um, the Nets went into Philadelphia and stole one. And they take home court advantage in this series. They stole one. But I found count of 111 to 102 to take a one games to none lead in this best of seven series. And uh, D'Angelo Russell led all scores for the Nets with 26 points. And um, Karis LeVert also had 23 points for the Nets. I just see like a lot of balanced scoring for this team. You had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys in double figures in scoring. And the Nets killed them. Or really, to be honest with you, the Nets killed them with outside shooting. And Philly just could not buy a bucket from beyond the arc. And I'm noticing also in this era of the three-point shot, a lot of times some of these games are actually decided by three-point shooting, which... It's a blessing and a curse. You know what I'm saying? Like, It also contributes to a lot of blowouts. I remember one year, it might have been last year or 2017, there were a lot of blowouts in the playoffs, especially the earlier rounds. And a lot of it's you know, attributed to the fact that three-point shot, when you make it, you can blow a game essentially wide open. And uh, Philadelphia just were not making their shots. I was shocked at that statistic that Doris Burke, I think it was Doris Burke put it up, or it might have been the other guy, the guy that was with her uh, commentating this game. J.J. Redick is one of the great shooters of his generation, but they said that in the playoffs for his career, he's only a 35% three-point shooter. I'm shocked by that number. Absolutely shocked by that number. Um... <laughs> Just trying to think I want to talk about, man. For the Sixers, you can't blame at all. You can't blame Jimmy Butler, okay? Jimmy Butler shows that he has the desire. All right, Jimmy Butler, this is the, this is why the Chicago Bulls loved Jimmy Butler, and this is why the Chicago Bulls hated the organization when they traded Jimmy Butler. I think it was on draft day a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jimmy Butler is that dude, man. Jimmy Butler put up 36 points, nine rebounds. Um, a lot of those were on the offensive end, those rebounds. You know what I'm saying? He was destroying the Brooklyn Nets. All right. Joel Embiid had 22 points, 15 rebounds, four assists. Joel Embiid, I don't want to knock him. You know what I'm saying? He's hurt. He was a game-time decision. From what I understand, the... Sixers did not even know that he was going to suit up until seven minutes before uh, the start of the game. And um, 
you know, because Joel B was hurt, I noticed it did kind of hurt him a little bit more on the defensive end. Um, but <sighs> Ben Simmons, man. This is why Ben Simmons, to me, will never be seen. I don't care about triple doubles and, you know, um, highlight reels that he makes when he's playing against poor teams. When he doesn't have those lanes to penetrate, you know what I'm saying, and he's forced to at least try to become a, a, a jump shooter, you see the weaknesses today, you know what I'm saying, um... I, I, Jimmy Butler, I mean, excuse me, Ben Simmons, another problem with him and the team, turnovers and careless turnovers. I mean, you, you, you cannot turn over the basketball like that and expect to win a game, let alone a playoff game. And Doris Burke was correct, man. The guys were on the bench texting and laughing and shit. And I don't know what they were looking at or smiling. I don't know what they were looking at. You know, maybe they're looking at some ass or something. I don't know. But, you know, when you're in a playoff game, look, I, I love women more than anybody. I'm not saying that's what they're looking at, but I'm just saying. I like women more than, shit, 99% of men walking this earth. But if I'm playing in a playoff game, man, you got to have total 100% focus, okay, when you're playing out there. This is why there are very few Michael Jordans, Kobe Bryant's, Tim Duncan's, Bill Russell's, Magic Johnson's, shit, even Isaiah Thomas, you know, Larry Bird's. Those guys took the playoffs. When they went to playoffs, they went into playoff mode, okay? They took those games seriously. From watching Philly, man, I sometimes wonder if some of the critics, well, I don't just wonder, it, it reaffirms what the rumors are about these guys. Ben Simmons. He doesn't really work on his game the way he should. He doesn't practice the way he should. Some people say that Joel Embiid is more about his statistics. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of would make sense because he was, you know, uh, saying that he thought that Will Chamberlain was the greatest player of all time. And there was a time I entertained the thought that Will was the greatest. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely still think he's the most dominant. But um, Will even said it himself, man, in an interview not too long before he died that it, it, it's possible that he didn't play with the intensity and ferocity that maybe he should have during his playing career. Maybe he would have won a couple of more championships. Not that he had a terrible career. He won two NBA championships and you know, he's one of the most lauded and most accomplished players, if not the most accomplished individually a uh, player in the history of the NBA. But team success-wise, he underachieved a little bit, all right? Um, but, yeah, you, you can make these arguments, man, that Joel Embiid and, and these guys, man, they, they just don't want it enough, man, you know? And I, I hate to go into this thing about players, how much money they make and shit. You know, hey, these dudes work hard to get in the NBA. They deserve the contracts they get. You know, but at the same time, you have to wonder how hard some of these guys really are playing out there when you watch these games. You could tell that Brooklyn really wanted this game. And they took it away from the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay. And I predicted the Sixers were going to win this series of six. They definitely could still do that. But um, they got their work cut out for them now because now they have to win in Brooklyn to win this series. And uh, if you're the Nets, you do have to be concerned about um, trying to figure out who that was. Uh, I think it was Davis. I think it was Ed Davis, I think it was, who uh, was uh, apparently hurt. I don't know how hurt he was. He left the game. You do have to wonder about that with him. Um, 
But, you know, I still think that the Sixers are going to win this series. But, you know, if the Sixers lose tomorrow, man, not tomorrow, but they lose the game two, then, hey, all bets are off then, man. Like, if they if they go down 2 nothing to the to the Brooklyn Nets, man, hey, they deserve to lose this series, man. They definitely deserve to lose this series. And if somebody has to step up and, 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 and push these guys to play like the third seed, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not playing like a third seeded team. They're not playing like a team that's constantly put up there as uh, a team that can go to the NBA Finals. I mean, you talking about going to the NBA Finals, you know, you guys might not get out the first round the way you guys are, are, are playing and, and the way you're approaching this game. So, you know, congratulations to the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? Um, big victory, man. And um, tell me what you guys think, man.